Hi, and thank you for joining us. I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie at the Ritchie Eye Clinic. Joining me today is Dr. Murray Hansen. Uh, Dr. Hansen is a longtime optometrist here in the city of Faribault. He's been with our practice since 1995. And Dr. Hansen is gonna help us out today with some information about sunglasses. Dr. Hansen, what is it that we should worry about when we're out in the sun? Uh, mainly we're looking at um, ultraviolet light. In this day and age, there's a lot of talk about how ultraviolet affects the eyes. It also affects our skin. We wear sunscreens to protect ourselves. We wear hats, but sometimes we overlook how our eyes are affected. And in that way, sunglasses come into play. Our regular um, prescription glasses many times have those uh, features that also protect our eyes, but for people who don't necessarily wear regular glasses, sunglasses are very helpful. Well, what is it about ultraviolet radiation in the eyes that we need to worry about? The ultraviolet radiation that enters our eyes can affect the health of the retina. It can induce the early incidence of cataracts through our lifetime. Uh, studies show that most of the exposure that we get to ultraviolet happens even in the first 20 years of life. One, because we're younger, and two, because with the younger um, age set, we tend to be outside more. We tend to have larger pupils, which let in more of the light and can cause more of the damage early in life. So that's why it's been recommended that we uh, consider- We should try to get our children yes. wearing sunglasses. Yes. Okay, so if ultraviolet radiation is the main concern, obviously we want sunglasses to have ultraviolet blocking, correct? That's correct. Now, ultraviolet blocking is something that I think you can find on most sunglasses, but it will be and it must be on the label on the sunglasses. So if you're looking at over-the-counter sunglasses, make sure to check for ultraviolet blocking. But what is it about sunglasses and the color of the sunglass? Does that help us in any way? The tinting in sunglasses is more for your comfort. If the lenses are not coated with an ultraviolet protection, the tinting makes no difference. Actually, if you don't have the ultraviolet coating, tinted lenses will cause your pupils to open up more and let in more of the damaging rays. So the color of the lens and the darkness of the tinting is more for your comfort. Many of our regular glasses that are clear have ultraviolet protection even though there's no tinting. So actually, the ultraviolet blocking component doesn't shade the glasses in any way. No, it does not. So that's a separate incident. So you could have ultraviolet blocking sunglasses in a shade of gray or brown or amber. Yes. Because you can pick. So it's, you can sort of mix and match the, the colors that you prefer. Is that right? That's correct. And generally with our regular prescription glasses, we here at, at the Ritchie Eye Clinic prefer putting ultraviolet coating in so you have that protection whether you're wearing sunglasses or not. Okay. What other aspects should we look for in a good pair of sunglasses? There are two main things. If you choose the tinting, um, you're looking at having it dark enough so that you have that comfort level when you're outside. But the type of sunglasses I find most comfortable are polarized. In this way, the polarizing effect eliminates the glare. So when you eliminate the glare, you are able to uh, not have as dark of a tint, so you can also wear these on cloudy days. Polarized sunglasses also help you with driving. When you drive and there are other cars on the road with you, you can easily see into the other windows and have a little bit of an advantage with other drivers and knowing where they're looking and making it safer for you on the road. So what you're saying is that the polarizing filter, which is separate from the ultraviolet blocking, is the portion of a sunglass that eliminates glare. That would be things like reflected light off of the hood of an oncoming car or the water if you're out on a boat, yes. that type of thing? If you're a fisherman, this is perfect because you, as you're looking into the water, if you eliminate the glare, you have a little bit better chance of seeing what's going on underneath and assuming the water is clear also. Okay. Now some people, and truck drivers in particular, have brought this up to me because they drive throughout all, uh, all hours of the day. They're mm -hmm. driving even into the evening. They talk about blue blockers. Tell us what blue blockers are. Blue blockers are um, a pair of glasses that have an amber tint. 
and this amber tint blocks some of the lower levels of blue light, um, giving them better contrast, especially when the light levels are, are decreasing. And that would also be the visible spectrum that's closest to the ultraviolet dangerous rays. That's correct. So they add a little bit of added protection in that range. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your help. In summary, what you've really told us is that sunglasses, the most important feature is ultraviolet blocking, correct? Correct. In addition to that, we can add a tint, and the tint is really personal preference, whether it's a color gray, green, brown, or amber, and the, how dark the tint is, is all a matter of personal preference. Yes, and one more thing with, with the tints, uh, the different colors. Some people prefer gray, some prefer brown. Uh, if you have gray, there is a tendency to have a little bit of washing out of the colors. If you go with brown, it tends to enhance the landscape, makes spring look a little more lively. So those might be the rose-colored glasses we all hope for. Well, I have a pair of them, and they work well for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the other feature is polarization. Yes. Now, tell us how transition lenses, prescription, sun, prescription glasses that get dark when you go outside, how does that differ from a sunglass? The transition lenses will darken as soon as you walk out the door and are exposed to the ultraviolet sunlight. It's the ultraviolet in the sun that triggers the darkening of the, of the lenses. However, when you get inside a vehicle, there's a tendency for these lenses to lighten up because your windshield and side windows also will filter out the ultraviolet light. So for those people who are more sensitive to sunlight and need something, usually the moment they walk out the door, these type of lenses are very helpful because then they don't always have to switch. But in the car, we supplement many of these transition wires with polarized lens clips so they get the benefit of both. So transition lenses are not polarized? No. Okay. So the features you want to look for in a sunglass, you want the ultraviolet blocking. Polarization is probably the biggest comfort feature. Yes. And then the tint. So the best pair of sunglasses you can have would be what? For me, polarized in the brown color do the best. With a prescription or not? Prescription if you need one. If you are one who doesn't have a prescription, the non-prescription polarized lenses work quite well. But what's interesting is even if you have a little bit of correction that you tend to ignore and don't wear regular glasses, if you put it in your polarized lenses, you will find the most clear, comfortable vision that you'll ever see. There you have it. Sunglasses, down and dirty. We thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again next time. Thank you, Dr. Hansen. Thank you.